doesn't like fall. Going to for sure. <laughs> hey, we have a community spotlight now on the Utah Rocket Club. You rock, right? President Neil Baker here with us and brought a few samples. Yeah, he sure did. I guess all these have taken flight at one time or another, right? They have, uh, yeah. and we we just brought a little assortment. But this is anything from this is what most people are used to seeing are these smaller model mm -hmm. rockets you pick up at the hobby stores, uh, and this is a little larger. We just kind of go up the scale from there. Yeah, yeah, that's a little larger. Yeah, yeah. This is a <laughs> Elon Musk style rocket. There, yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These don't land as well, but yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about uh, Rock Tree. Are there a lot of people involved in it? Uh, there is actually. Yeah. So there's uh, in in Utah. Uh, the Utah, Utah Rocket Club has been around for about 30 years. We have just around 200 members at any time, hmm. and um, it, it usually is. What we'll see is we'll see. Uh, uh, parents bringing their kids in that are interested in, in STEM and in school uh, or, or in rocketry mm -hmm. in, in school. And then we have a lot of older folks that come back into it that did it when they were kids. Yeah. Which we call yeah. born again rocketry. You go out to the desert, right? Yes. Now we the salt used, flats? We used to do the salt flats. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the airport has gotten so busy that we can't get permission there. Yeah. Okay. It, so. I, you guys have different, I guess, classifications on yeah. uh, how high you can launch these mm -hmm. things. So tell us about that and, okay. and how you get registered. Well, for example, we have a we have a launch site that we use pretty much monthly, assuming the the fire restrictions let us mm -hmm. um, out um, in the West Desert, and we have to have permission from the FAA. We apply for a waiver uh, that allows us to use that piece of land for that. Um, our, our site out in the West Desert, we have a 10,000 foot waiver, so that allows us to fly up 10,000 feet. Uh, all the aircraft in the area are notified that we're in the area and operating at that time. Um, if we want to go higher than that, we have to go different locations. For example, we just got back from a trip out to the Black Rock Desert in Nevada, which we had basically 350,000 feet. Wow. And we did have a, a, a couple of guys try that. Really? You so, can fly these things that high? <laughs> yeah. This isn't wow. just Boy Scouts no, setting no, no. off little Although, bottle rockets. No. How do you get into yeah. this science of it? I mean, this is really into the, the sport. Well, that's that's kind of the neat thing about this hobby is it, it can be as simple as, you know, buying one of these little tiny model rockets. Mm -hmm. But as you grow and get up into the larger and larger motors and there's more and more science involved, you start making your own rocket motors, you can... Uh, uh, build the electronics to go mm -hmm. with it, the deployment uh, tools, everything is... is, is that uh, what, would that be, be this one or...? That's, uh, this is actually, uh, that's a, just a slightly larger motor uh -huh. that uses, that this would use. This okay. would you actually use three of those. Uh -huh. This is just even a little larger and then this uses one larger and I have a motor at home that's about this tall and about this big around. Oh my gosh. Wow. I just didn't want to bring it with me. <laughs> so have you put one up 350,000 feet before? I have not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, just out in the Black Rock, we had one go 160,000. Wow. Yeah. Uh, what's the cost getting involved in a hobby oh. like this? The hobby, you know, on the model rocket side, the smaller rockets, it's 30, $35, $40, you can get a complete set. Mm -hmm. If you just buy the rocket and some motors, you're probably in at 20 25 bring it out mm -hmm. to a, a U-Rock launch and fly with us. You don't need to have your own launch watch, pads. Watch the big guys. Yeah. Sky's a limit on bigger stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and are you guys rocket scientists? I mean, you know, some of you guys, some of just Some hobby? of the members are. I, I'm, a, I'm an IT guy, mm -hmm. um, but we have, uh, how we have everybody from, uh, we have some doctors, we have mm -hmm. some mechanical, Mechanical engineers, we have uh, pharmacists. It's just all across the world. Oh, sure. But almost everybody had some kind of an interest or love in, in the space race back in the years. Yeah. So, do you have to have individual certification to fly any of these? You talk about the group and where you can go. Yes. So we have a <coughs> the there's two national organizations, and we we uh, are associated with both of those, and they both have or they, they both have certification programs one, two, and three, mm -hmm. the, the, as you complete each level, you can fly larger and larger rockets. Wow. So right off the bat, you don't really need any certification for that, just parental guidance. Mm -hmm. How high will this one go? Oh, 2,000 feet. Wow. Huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. 
What a fun group. And you have a meeting tonight. That's what caught our attention. We, you have just, we do. It's just a regular meeting, right? It's just a regular meeting. Mm -hmm. um, they're not super exciting. Most of it is a bunch <laughs> of nerds talking about rocket stuff. And some, well, some I can't think of anything better. better. Well, there you go. <laughs> better than our meetings. <laughs> You're welcome to go. <laughs> and what's the website? So people can check it out and maybe get involved. It's a good, uh, easy website. Uh, UROC, U-R-O-C dot O-R-G. UROC dot org. Urock.org. Cool. Right yep. there, we've got the website pulled up, so Perfect. that's what that's you it. can Utah Rocket check out. Club. Well, uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Happy flying. And, thank you. Uh, yeah.